morning students so in our last class we have studied integration by the method of partial fraction and today we will start the next topic integration by parts okay not uh, it is integration by parts means by parts we use when we have the product of two functions when we have to integrate the two functions that are in product form and both are the their independent variable is same we all know the product rule for differentiation okay we have studied the product rule for definition uh, differentiation when we have two functions u and v and both are the functions of x then differentiation of u v equals to u into differentiation of v plus differentiation of u into v okay so this is the product rule for differentiation then we have the rule for integration also when we have two functions in product form suppose f and g are two functions we have to integrate this together then the formula is we take one as first one as second function in the first function integration of second that is g of x dx minus integration then we put bracket differentiation of first function multiply integration of second then bracket close then d of x means you have to integrate this integration sign is for this thing inside the bracket and inside the bracket you have differentiation of first function and integration of second function okay you have to remember this formula very carefully it is first function integration of second minus integration then in the bracket you have differentiation of first into integration of second then the result whatever you get after doing this calculation that you have to integrate right so this is the formula for integration by parts you have to remember this formula very carefully next one important thing how we choose which is the first and which is the second function okay how we choose which one is first and which one is second for that we have a rule you remember this word i late you remember the word i late it is for inverse functions this is for logarithmic this is for algebraic this is for trigonometric and this is for exponential functions okay according to this you have to this order you have to choose which one is first which one is second okay i means inverse function l means logarithmic function a means algebraic functions t trigonometric functions and e for exponential functions right suppose you have together logarithmic and algebraic functions then you have to choose logarithmic as first function and algebraic as second right if you have algebraic and exponential function together means in product then you have to choose algebraic as first exponential as second okay so this concept will become clear when we do the problems let's move to the problems the very first problem we take find out the integration of x cos x dx okay so here we have two functions x is one function cos x is another function now we see cos x is the trigonometric function and x is the algebraic function so according to this we have to choose algebraic as first function and cos x trigonometric as second so this is our first function this is our second function now we use the formula our formula is integration of cos x dx is equal to first function integration of second minus integration 
then differentiation of first function again integration of second to dx okay so what is the integration of cos x it is sin x so we write here x sin x minus put it as it is then we solve under the differentiation of x is 1 and integration of cos x is sin x okay and dx this gives x sin x minus integration of sin x is minus cos x so it becomes plus cos x and at the right uh, last we put the constant of integration c so this is the result okay we take x is the first and cos x is the second function okay so it is very important to choose your first and second function accurately right Next, we see the another one. Integration of x sine inverse x divided by root over 1 minus x square dx. Okay. So, you have to find the integration of this function. Now, here which is the first here you have two functions one is sine inverse x that is inverse function and next is x divided by root over 1 minus x square it means this is in the form x by root over 1 minus x square and sine inverse x dx so here your first function is this inverse because according to eyelet and this is the second okay now we write the formula integration of x sin inverse x divided by root over 1 minus x square dx is equal to first function is sin inverse x integration of second dx minus integration differentiation of sin inverse x integration of x by root over 1 minus x square dx thing dx right so this we write according to the formula now here you have to find the integration of this function now we use the methods that we have already studied to find out the integration of this function right so first separately we find out the integration of x by root over 1 minus x square dx so i think we can do this by the method of substitution because we have the differentiation of this function in the numerator how let's see put 1 minus x square equals to t <coughs> this implies minus 2x dx equals to dt this gives x dx equals to minus dt by 2 right so here in place of x dx we put minus dt by 2 and in the denominator we write root over t so our integral becomes minus half we put outside dt by root t now we easily integrate this means you have to integrate t to the power minus half dt so it becomes t it's half plus one is half by in it is half so here it becomes 2 so ultimately we get minus root t and what is your t 
t is 1 minus x square. Okay. So, this is the integral value of this. Now, we put it in the main result. You have to find integration x sin inverse x by root over 1 minus square dx. Okay. So, our result is first function sin inverse x integration of second. So, integration of second is minus root over 1 minus x square minus integration of differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 by root over 1 this root over 1 minus x square okay and what is the integration of second we get root over 1 minus x square and dx so this get cancelled so we remain it minus sine inverse x root over 1 minus x square minus integration of this 1 dx means dx it becomes plus so we get minus sine inverse x root over 1 minus x square plus x plus c so this is our result okay so this type of questions are little bit lo longer but if you do with accurately they are very easy right next we do the another problem let x square plus 1 integration of x square plus 1 log x dx okay so here this is algebraic this is logarithmic so we have to take this as first and this as second now here we apply the formula first function integration of second minus integration differentiation of first integration of second and then dx log x now we know this is the simple integration we can do here it becomes x cube by 3 plus x minus differentiation of log x is 1 by x and this becomes x cube by 3 plus x and dx okay now it becomes minus integration of we get this thing as x square by 3 plus 1 dx okay now this log x x cube by 3 plus x minus now we integrate this x 2 by 3 it becomes x cube by 9 plus x x cube by 9 minus x plus c so this is our result okay
so these are the questions of doing integration by integration by parts next we have another integral of the type e to the power x f of x plus f dash of x dx means if you have this form of question this form of integration means exponential functions along with the give function and function added with the differentiation of this function this thing if you have to integrate then how we proceed right so we proceed it like can write it as integration of e of x fx dx plus integration of e of x f dash of x dx okay next so if you proceed like this the result final result that you get it is the final result that you have to use this is e x f of x plus c means you have when we have the form of this type of integration you have to find you just directly write it like this okay suppose you have the question integration of e to the power x tan inverse x plus 1 by 1 plus x square dx okay if you have the question like this this is of the form e to the power x if you take tan inverse x as f of x then is differentiation is 1 by root over 1 plus x square so here you take we take f of x equals to tan inverse x and f dash x is 1 by 1 plus x square now directly we use this formula so the result will be e to the power x tan inverse x plus c this is the direct formula you can use right otherwise you can do it in another way by parts you can use Suppose you multiply e x tan inverse x plus 1 e x in then exponential and trigonometry then exponential and algebraic. Here you can use the by parts but it is little bit longer. But after, little bit longer means you can we proceed like that only but this is the final result because ultimately when you proceed like that you will get this result only. So better to use the direct formula or the direct result. So it becomes easier for us. Suppose we have the next question like integration of e x sin x plus cos x dx. So it is clearly visible that this is if you take this is as f of x is f dash of x right because the differentiation of sin x is cos x. So directly your, your result will be e to the power x f of x plus c means e to the power x sin x plus c okay now we will do integrals of some more types 
this is this is the type where means they are standard integrals where you use the technique of integration by parts okay so this is integration of root over these are the standard result right means directly you can use this result okay so here your integrand you can take i as integration of root over x square minus a square dx okay now here this is one function this is algebraic functions and no other functions is visible here so we can take one as the constant function here right means one is there so you can take one as the constant function and we take this as the first and one as the second function means by if you use by parts so let one as the second function which is constant function second function which is a constant function right which is a constant function okay now we use integration by parts so integration of root over x square minus square so formula is first function your first function is this integration of second minus integration differentiation of first integration of second dx so it becomes root over x square minus a square into x because integration of dx is x minus integration differentiation of x square minus a square the differentiation of this function is we know what is the differentiation of root over x it is 1 by 2 root x so we get 1 by 2 root x x we have x square minus and again the chain rule it is 2x so here we get 2x and different integration of this is x dx so we get x root over x square minus a square minus integration of x square by root over x square minus a square dx now we will do the integration of this part so we can write it as because here we cannot apply any method of integration so we write it as square plus a square okay we can add minus a square we can subtract minus a square it does not affect the given function but our process of integration become easier so we get from here root over x square minus a square dx minus integration a square by root over x square minus a square dx from one integration we get two more integration okay now this is our given question here we have this we take as i right again we get here the same as our question so we can write this also as i so it becomes 2i and we remain with x into root over x square minus a square minus a square and we know what is the integration of dx by root over x square minus a square it is 1 by 2 log of sorry not 1 by 2 it is a square log of x plus root over x square minus a square plus c okay 
this is the standard formula we have studied standard integral now from here we get i equals to x by 2 root over x square minus a square minus a square by 2 log x plus root over x square minus a square plus c means our final result is this integration of square root of x square minus a square dx is the result this one means see this is the standard you have to remember this formula right so we have two more standard formula means similar in the similar way we can proceed so i am giving you the results root over x square plus a square dx so this is equals to half x root over x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log x plus root over x square plus a square plus c this is the second result and the third standard result is integration of a square minus x square dx this is equals to half x root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c you can check these two results by proceeding in the similar way that we have done the first one right you will get this two standard results okay this you have to remember so in the given problems when you are given problems you can easily use this results okay so let's solve one problem using this standard formula so the first one we take integration of root over x square plus 4x plus c so one thing you keep in mind if you are directly you are not getting the standard form you have to check whether you can make it make it in the standard form or not by doing some substitution or some calculation right so that you can easily apply the standard formula so here so here we can make this as if we write it x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 plus 6 we are adding and subtracting 4 so that this becomes root over x square plus 4x plus 4 can be written as x plus 2 whole square 6 minus 4 this plus 2 right so we get this and this we can write if we put x plus 2 as some other variable let we put as y put x plus 2 as y from here you get this is differentiation differentiating this we get 1 dy by dx this gives dx equals to dy so our integral become y square it can be written as 2 can be written as root 2 square and dy now it becomes your standard form x square plus a square here a is root 2 and in place of x you have the variable y so i think you can use the result root over x square plus a square dx so our result is 1 by 2 
y into y square plus a square plus this root over then we get a square by 2 a square means this 2 by 2 log y plus root over y square plus a square plus c okay so at last you have to replace y with x plus 2 so you get x plus 2 root over x plus 2 it is your not a square it is root 2 square x plus 2 square plus 2 this get cancelled so we remain with log x plus 2 plus root over x plus 2 square plus 2 plus c so they are very easy right you have to just make because directly you don't have the form of the standard integral so you have to make it by making the perfect square then you put it you can put it or you cannot you can proceed by x plus 2 also but it is easier to substitute it with some other variable then at last you have to replace that variable so this is our result so this is all about your integration by parts in the next class we do some more problems related to this type this standard integrals right after that our topic of indefinite integration will be completed and next we will start definite integral okay so thank you